Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So we wanted to share with you the results of our Forex signals group of last week. The signals were actually doing fantastic as we can see. Uh, only Monday we had a bad beginning and we have one of the signals have reached the take profit number three making 100 pips of profit recovered the losses from other trades. Please notice that not a single trade has reached the stop loss we closed all of them with the minimized losses as much as possible uh, Tuesday was amazing day actually we had all of the signals has reached at least take profit two while the rest of them have reached the take profit number three uh, Wednesday also was a great day as we can see the losses are very minimized uh, Thursday was great however as part of being honest and transparent with everyone I had to say that Friday was really not good day we had to close all of our positions in loss but the losses were actually uh, controlled and minimized the market suddenly went fuzzy and un un understandable and it's just even the price action haven't been respected at all so we decided to th for the safety of our clients and we don't want to see any signal reach the stop loss we decided to close all of the signals in loss just to uh, control them as much as possible thankfully uh, the members are very glad and happy for the experience and they are sending us a lot of messages on the uh, private message messages actually and we couldn't share all of them we just selected uh, some of them to post because they are they honestly they are a lot there is a lot of people i know they want to see their messages posted here on uh, the free group and however we cannot really post all of the messages we are just selecting some of them to post on our free group just to share with everyone the review from our clients on our signals please don't listen to anyone who did not try the signals take it from those who have actually tried the signals for at least one month those who have tried the signal for one or t two bad days and then they are judging us please don't listen to them they listen to these gentlemen and uh, uh, traders who have actually tried our signals for quite long time so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so before we start the weekly analysis i just wanted to make a small comment about this video that i have uploaded yesterday about my live trading session when i was scalping the gold on the one minute time frame uh, a lot of comments actually was criticizing this kind of trading and some of them said this is gambling and it is risky and it is not safe and they don't agree now of course i cannot ask everyone to agree with me that's impossible however i just wanted to clear my point here uh, let me just please explain this to you just in brief because I, w I know there is a lot of uh, traders who cannot really understand the concept of my trading uh, plans so for example if I had a uh, account of $10,000 so if I invested $600, $600 from this account and I just wanted to trade uh, on scalping the gold and I decided that I cannot lose more than $600 on these scalps so is this okay for you or not yes or no I'm sure all of you will say of course this is okay because you have a plan and you are investing amount uh, from your trading account so uh, you are planning to not lose more than $600 now what I did is exactly this but in different way what I did was instead of in, uh, depositing $10,000 in my account which I really don't want to do what I did was clearing my uh, live account and deposit only six hundred dollars only and that is the full amount on the trading account now what I will do is I'm gonna risk the whole amount in my scalping session meaning I'm gonna put I'm gonna use a big lot size uh, one whole lot size f for each trade because I am actually planning to t to invest this money so if I lost this money I'm okay because this is my investment so the point I'm trying to explain to everyone here is that you don't have actually to judge everyone when you are seeing their when you are, when you are seeing their uh, uh, trading style or trading uh, way i have my own trading way and i'm very comfortable with using this way and if you want to follow it it's up to you if you don't want to follow it it's also up to you so yes this this time here i cannot lie I cannot say that I wasn't nervous yes I was nervous of course because I'm seeing the losses almost $200 and I was depending of course on the resistance level right here to become a resistance so that level is going to be respected however uh, 
we we have to understand that I'm using this strategy since more than three and a half years, and I know exactly what I'm doing. I know when this uh, level is not gonna be respected and when it's gonna be respected from my experience. Of course, nothing is guaranteed in Forex world at all, at all. And even if I lost this trade, if I lost, for example, two hundred and fifty dollars, I'm gonna be with a four hundred fifty dollars remained in my account. And it's okay because with the 450, I can easily recover the losses of 250. As I said, I'm, I'm planning to trade or planning to risk the whole amount because this is my initial, or sorry, this is my total investment from the $2,400 account I had earlier. So please, you have to understand my, my concept of money management. That's actually the main reason I don't have a fixed book because nobody will understand my, my way of uh, money management. I keep uh, uh, depositing and withdrawing from my live, live account the whole time. I don't have uh, $100,000 account size. I don't have $50,000 account size. I'm just using, using these small account sizes and I'm actually trading them big with bigger lots because they are my investments. So sorry for the long uh, beginning or the long uh, opening. I just needed to explain this because <laughs> it's really, um, I just feel sorry for those who didn't try this method. It's gonna be very helpful and very useful and they will enjoy trading Forex and they will realize that uh, emotions can really uh, interfere in your trading. And when you are doing this, you're actually getting rid of the emotions. That is how I have been trading for many years and they actually the system is suitable for me and I personally like it. So we have met, we have talked a lot. Let's go to the weekly analysis right now. So let's start with the Euro USD as usual and allow me to just adjust this uh, resistance line I had drawn here. And what we can see right here on the Euro USD is that the pair has actually formed a double top pattern. And also what you can notice right here is this is strong key resistance I have drawn my line on. And by looking at that, we can see that there was a strong rejection once the pair has actually reached the price of 1.19029. Now, if we look at the weekly candles, what we can notice here also that we had here a strong key resistance level and EURUSD is still struggling on that level since more than two months. That means most likely what we're gonna happen right now is that the EURUSD is gonna actually fall after all this long term of consolidation at that resistance level. Now by going to the daily candles, what we can see right here, if we zoom in, we can notice this candle here and this candle here is very important. First of all, it's a pin bar on a resistance level. And also the most important thing is it's indicating a strong bearish, uh, sorry, a, st yeah, a strong uh, pressure from the bears to actually push the market down. Remember, we are talking about daily candles. So by seeing this candle right here, and we can see that lo the long tail here, or sorry, the long uh, wick here, uh, the market has actually reached that resistance level and then immediately fall. As I said, it indicates a strong pressure from the bears. However, uh, on Friday night, the market has closed as a green candle or a blue candle in my case. What does that mean? That means that the bulls are actually ready for another last attempt. And I believe it's going to be the last attempt. And eventually, EURUSD is going to finally reverse from that resistance level. And that is here, my friends, is exactly where we are planning to place our sell order for the Euro USD at that resistance. So that being said, Euro USD <coughs> is good for the short on 1.9, uh, sorry, 19029. And let's go to the daily, to the four hour chart to see exactly where we can place our take profit level and our safe zone. So by, by starting shorting the Euro USD right here, we can look for at least 140 pips of profit to at least hit that previous support level. Uh, but from my point of view, the Euro USD is gonna crash and it's gonna actually continue the fall. And that that means we had here a previous uh, support a trend line like that. If the support resist, uh, resistance trend line is, sorry, did I say support resistance trend line? <laughs> if the support trend line uh, gonna be breaking out, we can expect from the pair to reverse exactly at that support level and it's going to rise a little bit more to retest the broken support trend line and then it's going to continue the fall. 
Uh, I said last week that the Euro sorry the USD is gaining some strength from uh, the vaccine announced for the uh, COVID-19. However, I think uh, the Euro USD is not able to hold the the uh, the bullish momentum at all, and therefore Euro USD is really gonna fall. The dollar itself also still losing its strength due to the continuation of the highest. Uh, positive cases of the COVID-19 in the world. No matter if they announce the vaccine or not, nothing is going to be actually uh, happening on the real world until we see some uh, results or at least I think until the elections if, uh, in the United States. However, the tech profit level is going to be set on 1.17595 and for the safe zone, as we can see, we had right here also a previous resistance, just like that. So if the pair is ever going to go against us, I believe it's not going to exceed that previous resistance level because we, we had right here a bearish breakout candle. And what we can see here in the middle is also another support attempt. That means that the pair in worst cases might rise a little bit above, uh, above our entry to reach that resistance level and then going to continue the fall. That means our safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 60 pips. I think it's not even going to reach that level. So <clears throat> there goes your signal for the Euro USD, and hopefully it's going to be a very good one. Let's right now move to the pound USD. Now, the first look at the pound USD on the four hour chart is we can simply see that we had here a strong key support level, which has, of course, become later a resistance, uh, key resistance level, which has immediately been breaking out. Now, when you see any support or resistance level being breaking out immediately after the, f after the first attempt, meaning when the second attempt is going to be breaking out, it means a weakness in the level. And that means also that the support level is stronger than the resistance right here. That's why we can see that the pound USD is actually going to reverse. So we can expect from the pound USD to actually rise a little bit more here. And I believe the best uh, point that we can start again shorting the pound USD is going to be when that previous support level becoming a new resistance. And that is exactly where we are going to start short the pound USD. Pound USD this week is for the short at 1.28.12. And let's just select the safe zone. I believe it's going to be... Uh, until that resistance level right here, but maybe that's a lot. Yes, 110 pips. Uh, let's be realistic. Let's go to the one hour time frame. So if we started shorting here, we can expect the reversal to be happening exactly right here. Allow me to say why. Hold on. So 53 pips, yeah. Uh, so as I said, we are going to short the pound USD when that previous support is going to be the new resistance, right? However, if the pair is going to continue to rise a little bit more against our direction, we can expect it to reverse exactly when that previous support level is going to become also a new resistance. Now, of course, as I said, as I said before many times in my live trading videos, that is exactly where the level we can expect the pair to reverse because the tails of the candles are the nearest to the bearish breakout candle. And that is exactly where you can ex expect the candles to reverse. So, Let's go back to the four hour chart and let's mark that this is exactly the uh, safe zone to keep the trade running. And for the take profit level, of course, it's going to be exactly where the price has closed right here at that previous support level. So we are looking for almost 112 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them all. One po the take profit level is going to be 1.27681. So again, hopefully it's going to be a good signal and everyone will make good profit out of it. Let's look at the AUD USD. Now let's look at the daily candles for the AUD USD. Now by a quick look, we can see that the pair has actually managed to reverse at that resistance level. And that means that the pair is going to actually con going to continue the fall at least to hit that previous resistance right here on 0 0.70740. Now, that being said, we need to look now for shorting the AUDUSD and we need to look for the right moment to start shorting the pair. Now, actually what happened is we had right here a previous resistance like that. So we can see that that resistance level 
has become right now a support level however as i said because of the uh, reversal which which has just happened on the resistance i believe that support is not going to keep its position at all and after the pullback right here after creating a resistance number two because right here we have resistance one so i believe that the pair is actually gonna reach that level of resistance to create resistance number two and then boom it's gonna fall so let's go to the four hour chart and let's see so we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 83 pips we can, before we can start shorting it i believe that's a lot actually uh let's just be honest here i believe right here maybe let me just tell you why because actually right here we had a previous support level which has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and right here the top of this candle is actually a resistance number one remember i'm on the four hour time time frame therefore we can expect from the AUD USD to rise a little bit more and then we can start short the pair right here aka sell at that point so we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 66 pips so AUD USD is for the short at 0 0.73488 and the safe zone i believe we can make it at the top of the resistance if i'm not mistaken yes exactly at the top of the resistance right here so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 53 pips and that is actually uh, fair so that is your signal for the AUD USD let me just uh, drive uh, draw for you the safe zone and the tech profit level is gonna be on 0 0.72360 that's gonna be our tech profit level and hopefully it's gonna be also a good signal let's now look at the USD CAD now the USD CAD if we look at the daily candles has actually made a first attempt of the uh, sorry a second attempt of the support right here so we can see that we had right here a strong key support level which has also become another key support level and the pair is keeping the position as a strong key support level and what we can see right here is a strong bullish candle that bullish, uh, bullish candle it made the break out from that resistance so what we can see right here is that support level is keeping its position also as a support so that support is also here a support and that means um, let me just uh, tell you by this, by seeing this candle right here that's how the market has closed on friday night that means there is a, a pressure or sorry there is a push from the bulls to take the market up and i believe we can start again buying the usd cad at the right moment let's go to the to the four hour chart uh, chart and let's see where actually we can start again buying the usd cad so i believe right here at that support level let me just be clear exactly like that because right here we had the strong support level which has kept its position as a support now by seeing the price action on the four hour time frame on that previous resistance that means that the market seems like it's gonna make a correction or a pullback however uh, um, it's gonna reverse exactly right here on support number two because here we have a support number one so we have to wait for the right moment to start buying the gold uh, sorry the USD CAD again exactly at that level that being said usd cad is for the buy this week we can start by the pair at 1.31324 and let's just see about the safe zone is gonna be at least at that next support level so we're looking for 40 pips i think we can increase it a little bit more just to be reasonable okay 52 pips that's reason that's actually fair so that's uh, gonna be your safe zone my friends like that and for the tech profit level it's gonna be exactly at the top of that resistance so we are looking for 125 pips of profit so the tech profit level is 1.32593 again also hopefully it's gonna be a good and profitable signal let's now look at the USD GPY that's actually from my analysis before recording <coughs> so what we can see right here is that the usd gpy is actually stuck in this channel and as i said before very soon we're gonna witness a price explosion on the usd gpy and from my point of view since we are facing a major strong key resistance level right here and right there uh, the pair is actually gonna 
gonna continue the fall. So in my point of view, actually, what I'm be what I believe that the USDGPY is gonna be good for the short right away, because the pair might rise only for six or seven pips, which is nothing, and then it's gonna be perfect for the sell. Therefore, did I say buy or sell before? I forgot. If I said buy, it's wrong. I mean sell. Uh, USDGPY is gonna be good for the sell. So that being said, of course, USDGPY is actually good for the sell right now on 106.218. And for the safe zone, I think it's gonna be a little bit small because uh, if the pair actually gonna exceed that level, that means that the channel has been broken out and the price explosion has been in the favor of the bulls, meaning the pair is gonna actually gonna go as a bullish candle. Therefore, I cannot really make a hue or I cannot make a large scale of a safe zone. It's gonna be actually tight a little bit more, like that for almost 33.1. Uh, actually, oh, you know something? No, I'm gonna increase it. I'm gonna increase it. And I will explain the good reason now. The good reason I decided to increase it is because if we see that the candle, please guys, listen to me, this is very important. If you are planning to take the signal of the short for the USDGPY, I hope you just didn't take the picture and skip the video because it's very important what I'm about to say. So if we witness here a bullish candle, a bullish breakout candle from that channel, what's gonna happen next is, and mark my words if it happened, we can see that we had here a previous resistance. So what is gonna happen is that the market is gonna rise and make actually a bullish breakout candle from that uh, channel. And th at that resistance right here, the pair is actually gonna reverse to retest the broken resistance trend line and then it's gonna continue the rise. Now, the reason I decided to extend my safe zone is because I don't want anyone to close the trade at the right moment. Or sorry, at the totally wrong moment, because if they might actually close the trade right here, while actually the pair might reverse exactly at that level, which which is gonna actually cause you to lose your money for no reason. So the your, the retest if the candle is gonna continue the fall, the retest is your chance to recover the losses if in case they happened. That's why I had I decided to uh, uh, increase the 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 safe zone. And of course, if the candle is going to exceed that level, if the market is actually going to make the break out from that uh, channel, I'm going to warn everyone in the earlier midweek analysis video. So let's draw right now the um, safe zone for the USDGPY. And the tech profit level is of course going to be at that support level right here. Exactly. Because I think if the pair uh, made the bearish breakout candle from that channel it's gonna continue the fall all the way to that support level before it actually gonna continue the rise again to retest the broken support trend uh, support trend line and then reverse so there is absolutely no need to uh, waste the, the profits that we're about to make from this deal so the take profit level is gonna be on 105.361 I think about 80 85 pips hopefully gonna be a very good profit for everyone Let's check right now the USDCHF The USDCHF signal is very simple this week as we can see the pair has actually made a, a doubled bottom right here on daily candles and that means if we go to the 4 hour chart we can see here the double bottom pattern and we can see that here we had a support which of course has kept its position as a support and we can see here that the price is actually right now is for the fall. I believe that the pair is going to continue the fall a little bit more to create a support number two because right here we had support number one. So we can start again buying the pair exactly at that moment when it touched the support number two and we can keep the trade running until it hit the resistance right here. <sighs> I talked a lot. <laughs> okay. So USDCHF is for the buy at 0 0.90490 and the take profit level is going to be placed exactly at the top of that resistance level right here, exactly right here. So we are looking for almost 100, uh, okay that's a lot maybe, that's, that's more reasonable. Uh, 145 pips of profit hopefully going to be good for everyone, uh, 0 0.9201. 
one two that's gonna be our take profit level and the safe zone of course it's not gonna exceed that previous support level right here so it's gonna be almost 50 pips of uh, uh, the safe zone and of course not a triangle shape rectangle and here it is the, there goes your signal for the USD CHF now let's go to our favorite pair which is the gold and here we need to talk now actually uh, the gold as I said is very sensitive and objective to the news about the US dollar therefore we uh, we can see that the gold is still ranging at that level after the remarkable rise to the to the price of 2075 the pair has, has actually never exceeded that level and the pair not only that it couldn't even reach the price of 2000 again it reached only 2000 since um since a month exactly a month ago and uh, after and since ever it has never reached above that level of the price and in my opinion uh, the gold is gonna continue the fall after we can see that the complete the completion here uh, completion, <laughs> after the uh, resistance trend line has completed its form here and therefore we can expect from the gold to actually continue the fall now the question is where we can start again short uh, shorting the gold we need first to look at the strong key and support resistance levels to understand exactly where we can short the pair so what happened now let's go to the one hour time frame what happened right now is we had here on the one hour time frame we had here a previous resistance level that resistance has become a support level however as i said uh, that support is not going to be strong the pair is definitely going to continue the fall later and we need to understand exactly where we can start shorting the pair so after the reversal from that support this is a support number two by the way because right here we had support one so we can expect from the pair to make one pullback and then from that point we can start again short the gold however you have to understand that the gold is very uh, subjective to the news it's very sensitive look at that i mean it's crazy what's happening with the gold right now one small one candle can actually blow your account if you don't know what you are doing if you are not aware about the timing on uh, of when when you should actually be, uh, open open your trades please be careful to avoid the time of the news i prefer to trade the gold actually in the morning um let's see about from 2 a.m which is 6 a.m gmt dubai time uh, this is uh, 6 a.m gmt time uh, until I'm just calculating <laughs> the lo my local time with the GMT time until about 7 a.m. GMT time which is 11 a.m. Dubai time and then at evening from um, from 2 p.m. again uh, GMT time until 7 p.m. GMT these are actually the best times to trade the gold in my opinion because usually at these times uh, the market is calm and there are not much news by the way these are both uh, GMT time the market usually that time is calm and rarely you can see any news unless there is uh, a speech or a tweet from Mr. Trump that actually might uh, change the whole direction of the gold therefore we have to be very careful when we are trading the gold we need to wait for it to rise for another 125 pips before we actually start shorting it so therefore gold is for the short at 1952.78 uh, and the safe zone is going to be ranging until the, the the distance of that resistance trend line and therefore by looking at the left exactly right here because we had here the resistance level which I really doubt that the pair is ever gonna exceed so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for uh, 70 pips which I think is more than enough and fair for the for trading gold let's increase it a little bit so 90 pips should be fair enough however the profit is actually gonna be big because we had right here let me show you we had right here like that a previous support trend line and that's why I'm telling you that the pair most likely is going to reverse right now at that support trend line 
and gonna reverse on that resistance and if that happened if the pair is gonna actually reverse at that resistance it actually gonna break out it's, <coughs> it's gonna it's actually gonna break out from that supported trend line and it's gonna continue the fall all the way at least until it hit that previous support level before it actually make the retest that's the reason I have selected this as my take profit level so we are looking for total of almost 300 exactly 300 pips of profit hopefully is gonna be made so the price uh, the take profit level is 192.28 so there goes your signals for this week and I believe it's gonna be easy and good week and very profitable one for everyone because actually my friends uh, the market is actually really easy to be read right now especially with the drop of the dollar and I don't see any way for the gold sorry for the dollar to rise uh, we give it a chance after the announcement of the possible vaccine however vaccine however uh, we cannot uh, expect to see any results on that on the pair itself or on the currency until we see actual results from the vaccine however um, in the end I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching